This is what I do again. There's a transport van there that's coming in next. And then that is a matte finish quarter panel that I should probably make a video on. That. I decided to make a, another video here. Um, we're doing a repair right here. I already washed it with water. Just gonna pack it now with the same one. Just make sure you wash really well. Blow really well. When you think you're done blowing the job, keep blowing. Okay? This is a big no no here. Okay? So, all you breakfast out there, big no no. Also blow yourself off really well. Blow this again. I'm hoping for a clean paint job here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the base to... Using my HD base, I'm going to go down to 12 PSI. I want to keep it small, I want to keep it contained. Okay? So, notice the angling of my gun. I'm going to angle it like this. Okay? You can dust it on. Okay? You can dust it on. Just like that. Okay? Then, we'll blow it. I'm going to try to keep this video going as I do it. Pretty humid today. So like I said in a previous video painting the mini Cooper, I've been I've been putting 493 in all my mixes um, because I don't want any issues with uh, peeling or anything like that. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do 20 and I'm going to put on a nice heavy even coat. Okay? Just like that. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to go and put this on here. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to over reduce it. Sorry. We're going to over reduce this. So we can blend that out nicely. By over reducing it, I mean just that. So there's a little bit in there, not much. I'm gonna put T490. This is the stuff that makes up pearl coats, uh, stuff that makes up mid coats. Do that, and I'm also gonna add a little bit more of T493 to make sure that we're keeping that kind of lights. A little bit of a shaky shaky. Now I'm gonna mix up some more clear coat. This is leftover from that mini that I did. This will be a new video so I realize you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Am I still recording? Yeah. And I've been using uh, for that, I'm gonna do 18 psi. I'm 18 psi. 18. Uh, Eighteen ounces. Four thirty. And like I said in the previous video, I've been using the summer when I was really, really, really hot. I was using ECR 98. Now it's not as hot and it's a little bit cooler. So I'm using 80, uh, 85, ECR 85, high temp producer. And what I've been doing is 
just uh, over reducing it. So if I mix 30 ounces, I'll put 30 grams extra. If I mix 20 ounces, I'll put 20 ounces extra. And uh, 20 grams extra. And it's been working so well. Uh, the shine holds up better. The finish is better. You got a nicer flow. So I'm really enjoying it. Sometimes with EC530, get some dieback or get some solvent pop, and uh, this has been able to eliminate it. So maybe give it a shot. All right, that's dry. A little tip for you. With the same rag, baby. Same rag. Same rag. Same rag that's damp with the water cleaner. You can go ahead and wipe this again. Pack it. Just make sure you're packing it completely. And don't miss any spots. Okay? And that's why I love this blower. Let's check it out. This is already dry. It's only been like maybe not even five minutes. And, uh, and look, I can already tack it. Okay? Especially here. Now, I could just go ahead and baste the whole entire hood, but I want to show you what can be done. If you just have the right tools, We will leave it at 20. And I'm gonna put it on uh, relatively heavy. And this is like over a loop, so it, it's not gonna cover a lot, but you already got coverage, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the floors, so I'm gonna reduce it just a little bit more. Now this might seem like a lot of work, but if it gives you Oops. Sorry. If it gets to the results you need, then is it a lot of work? Works for me, that's all I know. Looking good. Right. I'm gonna put another coat like that. Same same uh, pressure. Another coat like that. And the cool thing about the adding the C490 is that because the base is thinner but also more transparent, it helps you blend out any color. And then it also helps by reducing the sand piling. So there won't be any sand piling on this job. Well, hopefully. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to do a control coat and then call it a day. A double control coat. Right. 18 PSI for my control coat. Go the control coat and we're done. And we paint it one. One, baby, one. Done. I'm gonna leave this on to get the airflow going. I got my clear ready to go. Boom. So uh, my setup here is 34 psi, fan wide open, fluid wide open. This is an HDE uh, 1.3. Welcome. I love these guns so much that I started selling them. I know I sound biased, but I don't care. <laughs> the truth is that these guns have made my life a whole lot easier. All right, first coat. You wanna put it on? The way that you want your second coat to look like. So, I mean, you can put it on a little bit, a little bit lighter, right? So, 80 to 90% overlap and just move a little bit faster. And then on the second coat, 
we can do 80 to 90 percent overlap but just slow it down a little bit we want to get that nice 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 smooth finish okay and after your first coat I'll show you Also, the car has spray masks, so before you comment and criticize me um, and call me a butcher and this and that, the car has spray masks, so it's protected, don't worry. But, no blend, you can't see it, um, just the first coat and it already looks awesome, no uh, sand filing, and we're going to let that set for 10 minutes. It's looking good so far. So because I'm a short dude, I have to do the fake grip, what I call. And I just have my middle finger on the trigger. Barely, and uh, this way I can get the gun as far as I can, so I can reach the middle of his head. So I have it like right there. That's the only way I can reach his head. So you notice how slow I'm going. I'm going a lot slower than the, the first coat. And you know what? When I'm looking for a certain finish, I don't mind spending a little bit more time to make that look the way that I want it to. So, still got some clear left over. But I want you to take a look at that. Not bad, I'm happy with that. So you see there's no blotchiness, there's no uh, where the trace of where the blend is. And the job came out really, really, really clean. So I hope that, I don't know, my hope is that you learn something from these videos. Because if you don't learn anything, then what the heck am I doing making them? I don't make them... Uh, I'll never be famous, that's for sure. Um, you know, not that I want to. But, you know, there's no other reason for me to make these but to help people and hopefully get some products out to you guys that you would actually get value from. So the thing about what I do, what I've been doing since day one with this, um, with this channel is... Sorry, I'm like poking away at the thing here. <sighs> Other than uh, getting you to see my inside of my mouth. Anyways, like the, the very first thing the ver from the beginning of this channel, I've always wanted to add value to painters because I realized that not many people care about painters. So I wanted to start, I wanted to care about painters. Which is why I started this channel. Because because I feel like, you know, not many people care about painters and, and I don't think that's right. So, if you buy any products that I recommend, it's because they work. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm never ashamed of promoting a product that I believe in and uh, anything like that. So, 
just want you to know that that the whole reason for me making this YouTube videos is to add value to your life as a painter and hopefully maybe your life in general okay anyways I love you so much God bless you peace out see you on the rebound of uh, motivatedpainters.com you can get paint suits that I designed and I created um, you know myself and uh, also, you can get the uh, MP welcome package. You get um, all kinds of things. Just go into the website and you'll see the picture. But you get the gun, the digital regulator. You get a welcome motivated painters blower. And all these guns have motivated painters on them. So it's really, really exciting. And then that's Chris. He got one. He loves it, I think. I don't know. Do you? No, maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, peace out.